Hey everyone, it's Weston again. Thank y'all for watching my channel. Um, today we're out here hunting airheads again in South Georgia. And the field behind me here is one we've been hunting. We, we're not too far in the middle of nowhere today, but we're on down here. And uh, we got a highway over here that we can take back home. But uh, here's what we covered today. And this one about whipped me because we've had two and a half inches of rain, but I figured that'd be a great time to come out here. So I worked a pattern on this one and covered it. Several, several hundred acres. And we didn't come out empty-handed, nothing excellent, but I got the other one on video. Here's what we found throughout the day. I've got uh, all my chips right here. This is all over about a four-hour span. Got some beautiful ones that haven't patinaed yet that are still shiny as the day is long, and you can see right through them. Um, found one good hammerstone, it looks like, a good grip on a hammerstone. That was pretty neat. You know, I hadn't found one of those in a little while. They're not too great, though. Uh, one odd-looking rock. A bunch of huge flakes, which could be turned into something. That one's already pointing right there if there's no shadow on it. And they could be turned into something. I uh, found one massive piece of flint. Only piece in the whole thing. There's no way I don't believe it's a preform. It's not thin enough. But if you look at it, it has been flaked off something off a of main rock. So they could have been working on it. It's got scars on it from where the hairs flipped, flipped it over. But if nothing else, it could be a digging implement just like that in the plowed dirt. So... That works pretty easy. But didn't come out empty empty handed. I uh, got my pieces here that are good on the right hand side. I got one tiny one napped up here. Nothing beautiful. That's about as crude as it gets. Got that one. Found this bottom right here, which had some excellent work on it, but it snapped clean off. And I've got one tip. The very tip again right here. So uh, after that one. I found the best one of the day, which we'll save for last, but we just got a video of this one. It showed a little bit, and the tip's broken right off of it, but it was thin, had a good construction to it, not too fat like the others, and <clears throat> out of four and a half hours of walking and probably five or seven miles, I got this one. So, did not come out empty-handed. That's going to be a great one to add to the collection right there. So... Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoy these little videos I do. I wish I found more to show you, but like I said, I, it's lucky you even find one. So out of all this you see right here, I walked a pattern on all the furrows where the uh, hairs had been through them. I found one good one. So I'm not going to say I couldn't miss one, but I worked a pretty intense pattern on that one and kept up a good pace. And you can tell I was picking up every little piece I saw. So we won't have to see these again when they turn it and didn't come out empty handed. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a great day, and good luck if any of you go hunting. Y'all have a good one. Bye.